morning and welcome back. This is The Stitch and Field, my channel about cross stitch. Today is February 1st, 2021. I'm glad to see you back. If you're new here, I hope you'll come back and be a regular viewer. I hope you find something that you enjoy. Today I have lots for you. I have three finishes, two of which were new starts. I have my current progress, what I can't wait to start, plans for February, and my giveaway winner. I'll do the giveaway at the end. So the first project that I started, well, before I get into projects, let me tell you a little bit about how I stitch, about my rotation. I keep Sundays for anything I feel like doing. It's whatever I'm in the mood for. Monday through Thursday, I work on one project, normally the whole week. And then Friday and Saturday, that is my focus piece. And the entire month, I work on the same project every Friday and Saturday. And that kind of helps me if I don't have time to get a lot of stitching in. I've got other days then that I've, I can catch up. So the first project that I did was Dahlia. And this is by Donna Cooler. This is a restart. And here's where it was before. And here's where it is now. Now I still have to finish the back stitching on the flower and I've got to finish the leaf. But you can see it's coming along and you can see it's really popping on this fabric. This is a hand dyed by me. I used a liquid writ in the color teal. And I originally did this, I'll put a, a picture in of where this was before, uh, before I restarted it. And you can really see that it just didn't pop off that cream fabric. So I'm, I'm enjoying this much, much more. Uh, this, like I said, this was hand dyed by me. This is an 18 count. So the next project that I did, I picked up my Animal Crossing. Now this is a free pattern by Cunning Cross Stitch. And you can see that square right there is the January release. I'm not real happy with this. I don't know, I'll play with it. I'm gonna put it aside and think about it. Maybe it's because I'm just not really a sound person. But there are a million fractionals in this and I'm working on Ada, so it's not the easiest. Um, this, like I said, is by Cunning Cross Stitch and this is, is a 18 count, I'm sorry, this is a 16 count Ada hand dyed by me. So then I got into my full coverage, which is what I love doing. And this first one is called Welcome to New York. And whoops, that's the back. And I'll put in a picture of where this was. This was my new start for January. And all I had done was the gray clouds and part of this first building. So you can see this was my Friday, Saturday project. And you can see I've really got quite a bit done. So I have one more building to do here and then I have the street and the bottom border to do. So that one will be, this is I'm using for my 21 and 21 through full coverage cross, full coverage fanatics. That project has a total of 23,000 stitches. So when it's done, it's done. All right, this is one afternoon. Let me see if I can expand this out. And I'll put a picture of where it was. It's hard to get the, the door. So let me start at the top here. Now you can see where it was before. I normally would have, what I normally do is I start my projects in the upper left hand, work my way to the right, then come down and work my way back across. And I started doing that when I realized I was running into this house already. So I went down and did the house, all except for the door. But then when I picked it up this time, I wasn't thinking about what I was doing and I picked it up and I started on the left hand side again. And I realized I had hit a roof, so I finished off most of that roof and I came across and then I decided, I joined Full Coverage, Full Coverage Fanatics, and I decided to use this piece for my January bingo. And the easiest way to do this with the least number of stitches meant that I needed 6,000 stitches. So I did this, but there's quite a bit of confetti. So then I came down here, and I started filling in the door, and I was so close to 6,000 stitches. 
And when I got one of these collars, I believe it was 762, I realized I needed less than 30 stitches. So I decided to go through and find where those 30 stitches were. And these last four stitches were the end of that collar. And I was exhausted. And I thought, there's no way I'm getting my 6,000 stitches. And then I realized there was a whole lot of one solid collar. And there's a few little bit of confetti in here, but I could get a lot of stitching done here. And I thought, okay, instead of finishing the door, I'll do this. And sure enough, I was able to get my 6,000 stitches in, which brings me now to 58.37%. This piece will definitely be finished this year, and I can't wait. Okay, the next one is Nerthus. Now this is my absolute favorite project. This is my unconventional X day. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Uh, one afternoon, this is on 18 count white or cream Ada by Zweigart. And I'm stitching this two over one. Okay, now Nerthus, and this is by Artisy. Nerthus is my unconventional X stitch. And I'll put a picture of where this was. Now this has a lot more confetti than one afternoon. This, oh, by the way, this is on 20 count white Swigart. I think I said previously it was on 18 count. So this has a lot more confetti. So I filled in up here, got the whole top row of pages done and came down and started on the next row. And you can see right here, you can see I stopped here. This is actually the bottom of page of the row of page, first row of pages. But then I saw I was getting into the eye and I wanted to see the eye. So I dropped down and then when I came across, I decided to go ahead. So I have a couple rows of the next row of pages. So this right here is pages 12 and a couple rows of page 18. Now this one, I am up to 28.13% and I completed 4,627 stitches. So that brings me to my finishes. So the first thing I pulled out the first week of January is chopping mall. Shopping mall or chopping mall, however you want to call it. And I didn't have a whole lot to finish, but let me go over what I've done. First of all, this is a 15 inch stretcher bar. And my plan originally was to stretch the fabric over this and attach it on the back. It was just slightly too small and I, I couldn't get it to reach the back. So I decided to attach it to the back with some hot glue. The changes I made on this were that I did these are the, the twins from The Shining, and I wanted them to look like they looked in the movie. So I changed her dress to the blue and white. Uh, the pattern actually called for them looking like French maids. They were in a black and white uniform. I did, I outlined some of the gray like on the boat and things like that because you really couldn't see it on the fabric I chose. Other than that, I didn't change a whole lot. Uh, there's a couple changes just based on if the, if the color didn't show up on the fabric or if I didn't have it and I found a color very close to it. So this is on 18 Count Stormy Skies by Garibaldi and she's on Etsy. The paint that I chose, I wanted black and the only black I had was chalkboard paint. So it's in chalkboard paint, but I think it came out really, really good. My next finish was one of the squares on my grandson's afghan. This is an afghan I'm doing of Plants vs. Zombies. This one is, oh, the fabric, first of all, is an 18 count afghan, and I'm stitching a two over one. This is Sunshroom by Lab Pattern on Etsy. And so even though this whole project is far from being done, this has been started and finished for this month. The next one that I started and finished, this is Yoga Dogs. Let me see if I can bring this out. This, my granddaughter asked me to stitch for her, the same one who wanted the flamingos if you're following along. 
And I thought, okay, so I don't want to do another framed piece. So I decided I found this box. It was an unfinished box uh, from a craft online craft shop. I stained it with English chestnut and then I stitched this piece and put it on sticky board and then I just hot glued it to the top. She's turning 10. She may want to change this out. So this way she can still use the box. She, she can easily remove it. It's not permanently attached. Now Yoga Dogs is by Little Room in the Attic on Etsy. And when you purchase the pattern, you get both the black and the brown dog versions. Her, she has a, a miniature dachshund and her dog is in the brown version. So we did the brown. The fabric is a remnant. It's a hand dyed by Rwanda and it's 14 count. And I don't believe it was named. I, I could be wrong on that. And I'd use, I'd cut this off. This was a little piece that was left over from a project I did for a year or so ago. Now inside, you can see, I just added some pink fabric to the bottom stained the whole piece and this will be her birthday present along with a deck of yoga cards because she's well I've always, I've encouraged my grandchildren to do yoga since they were little and uh, she's now really getting into yoga so that's her piece that'll be her birthday present so what are my plans well my plans for next month are to work on Nerthus. Now Nerthus is going to be my focus piece. Here's Nerthus again. So Nerthus will be my focus piece and my goal is to get at least 10,000 stitches in. Now a page has roughly 33, 34,000, 3,400 stitches on it. So if I do 10,000, I'm easily doing three pages. The next one that I'm going to work on and focus on is going to be, you can leave your hat on. This is by, charted by Hade, and the artist is Sandra Santara. This is on a 14 count. Uh, it's a light blue, just because that's what, what I got. It's, it's not an Ada, I mean, it's not a Zweigart. I don't know what fabric it is, it was just a generic piece that I picked up off one, two, three stitch. And it's a, a light blue. It's, uh, that's not quite, it's slightly bluer than what you're seeing there. So currently I have 5.42% completed. And my goal on this one is 4,000 stitches. So my next one is Stevie Ray. And here's where I am now. I've got to bring this back a little bit so you can see all of it. There you go. Stevie Ray is on pale blue Ada. It's another 14 count. And again, it's it's just an unnamed that I found off a one, two, three stitch. The artist was Wendy Kathleen. And I currently have 25.44% done. And then I will continue working on one afternoon. And my goal on that one, well, my goal on Stevie Ray is 5,000 because there, there, there's so little confetti in it that I can stitch that one really quickly. My goal on this one is to do another 4,000. I wanna finish the door and call this house and everything around it done. And then I wanna come up here and finish this row and maybe even come down and start the next column, of the next row of pages. We'll see how far that goes. All right, so then, what do I wish I were stitching on? It's this chart, I will include a picture here that I purchased off uh, Mystic Stitch. I, it, it's just gorgeous. It, I love the white, but the blue just pops on it. So this is the one I can't wait to start. I need to get a couple of my full coverages finished so I can start a couple more. So now all I have left is the giveaway and I, I spun, I didn't spin, I'm sorry. I did a um, comment picker from YouTube and I'll put the results here. 
This is Tammy Rose. Congratulations. Contact me in my email, which is thestitchingfield at gmail.com. I have it down in the description box. And let's make arrangements and get that done. So as you can see, my February, for, and you probably saw from the title, is full coverage February. And I will take any excuse I can to work on my full coverage pieces. So I hope you'll come back next month and see my progress. I don't think I'll have any more starts, but I at least should have a lot of progress. Have a great month, and I will talk to you soon.